Hi again everybody, so today I am bringing you a tutorial of me using um, several of the BH Cosmetic eyeshadows and I'm going to be doing a smoky brown eye using a lot of those shadows. You want to definitely start by priming your eyelids. I'm using Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And like I said, I'm going to be using a lot of the colors from the BH, let's see, this is the 28 color neutral eyeshadow palette that I got. It's several brown tones pretty much and I'm first starting off by popping a color that's very similar to MAC soft brown right there in the crease and that's going to give me a good transition color And for my entire eyelid, I am using what seems to be the darkest brown color in the entire palette. And um, I'm actually placing that all over my eyelid, not trying to go above the crease area, just really packing that in. And I'm going back in with a color that is very actually similar to, I would say, brown script. It's like a really pretty, I would say a lighter version of like a red-brown color. And I'm using that to just kind of blend in the dark color with the transition color that I initially added. And um, you'll end up seeing that I switched over to a different palette that's from the drugstore, which is the Maybelline, uh, let's see, Quad. And that color is in a number 02 Natural Smokes. Very gorgeous palette. You can probably achieve this look with just those colors alone. It only has two matte shadows and two shimmery shadows and I took the darkest brown in that Maybelline quad and as you can see it's so much more pigmented it's the darkest brown that I was actually going for the BH palette apparently the color was just not dark enough for me so I went ahead and slapped that on both of my eyelids now I'm also going back in with the same color that I initially went in with which is to me looks like soft brown and I'm just using that to just blend all of the colors together get rid of any of the harsh lines that the dark color left behind and just to make sure that that's all blended in really well It's so funny how I make all these faces. It <laughs> looks hilarious when I go back and watch it. And I'm just doing the other eye really quickly. I do a lot of blending. I definitely cut the majority of my blending out of the, the video because it would just be ridiculously long. Um, I'm going back in with the same brownish, the red brownish color I had mentioned. If you do happen to pick up this palette, it's very affordable. You can pick it up at bhcosmetics.com. I will place the link down below. But it's very inexpensive. It's a very good palette if you're starting off and basically looking for something that would give you a natural, everyday look. I'm taking the darkest brown and placing that in my lower lash line. And then I'm also going to be taking the same reddish brown color that I've been using in my crease and placing that the same in the same area right below my lash line and I'm just blending the two together it's gonna give it a good gradient effect so um, it doesn't look so harsh and then also from the Maybelline quad I'm going back in for my brow highlight and I'm using the other matte, matte shadow which is basically a beautiful matte cream color Now for my waterline, and I'm also going to tight line with this, I'm using Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Coal Liner, and this is in the color black, number 001. And I'm popping that right there in my waterline and also tight lining with the same color. Now for eyeliner, I'm using Essence Gel Eyeliner, and that is in the color, let's see, Midnight in Paris, which is basically the only black color that they have. I'm using um, a brush that I received from another gel liner I've, been, I've used in the past. For some reason, I'm terribly scared of doing winged, <laughs> winged liner with the gel. I cannot seem to get it down, but eventually, maybe with lots of practice. I'm now using my favorite matte bronzer from NYC, and that is in the color Sunny, and I usually place that 
pretty much on the top of my forehead, down down like my cheeks and my temples, um, underneath my jawline and underneath my chin. Now I'm going to be using Max uh, their recent collection, which is the Extra Dimensions, and I'm using the skin finish that's in the color Double Definition. I'm using the dark shade to contour my cheeks, and then I'm going to be using the highlighter shade um, to add some highlight above my cheekbones and also in my cupid's bow. Oh yeah, I also added the highlight in my inner corner as well, which is not going to be very noticeable because I am using a lot of dark shadows in this look, so you really can't tell unless you're in person, but like the camera's not picking it up at all. And I'm using my favorite blush at the moment, which is from Milani. It's the color Luminoso. I absolutely love that blush. It is a beautiful orange coral color, perfect with any brown colors you may be using, any natural looks. It goes pretty much with everything. Now I'm going to use my Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes and I use that mascara for my bottom lashes only. I used to use it on my top, top lashes but it kind of, I don't know, I'm, I use three mascaras for goodness sake so I didn't want to add another or fourth one at the moment but I first go in with uh, my absolute favorite mascara which is by L'Oreal. It's the Voluminous Carbon Black and I do a really good generous coat with that one as my first application. Then I go in with the Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express, which is, I guess, the cat eye one. And um, I go in with that as my second application. And for the third and final application, I'm using the Sephora Outrageous Volume. It's just a sample, um, but I really, really like it. I'll probably end up going back and getting a full size. The only downfall is, is I really hope the packaging is not the same for the full size because the travel size is so messy when you pull out the brush the product gets all over the place even on the outside it's ridiculous now for lips I'm using uh, let's see NYX lip liner in the color nude as the liner and then I'm also gonna go in with this gorgeous color I picked up recently from the Kate edition which is by Rimmel and I believe it's the color 109 I'll show it to you in just a second it's a gorgeous like I guess you would consider this like a pale orange almost like a cream orange color really really pretty I love it I was trying my hardest to actually duplicate the lipsticks with generics and off brands from when I received their the Sephora advertisement and I'm kinda of just showing you what, the, what it looks like um, with the light that I have left <laughs> so that completes my look I hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching you guys have a great day